So I guess that's a, it may be a success <laughs> in some sense. He's gotten, you, you got his attention. Well, but, but there's a war on truth by him. And uh, he, he says, oh, these are unnamed sources, uh, but these are not unnamed incidents. Specific people on specific dates, uh, the book opening with Gary Cohen, the chief economic uh, advisor in the White House, lifting a document from the president's uh, desk because uh, he, he, Cohen worries, as uh, he tells an associate, I have to protect the country because this will unravel a trade deal which will jeopardize one of the most important intelligence operations we have going on. And the documents uh, reprinted in the book there, and the, and the president uh, is saying, uh, well, if he'd known about this, he would have fired Gary Cohen in two seconds. Mm -hmm. We didn't know about it because the document was taken. And we'll get to the specifics, but just, you know, you've been around a long time. You've covered, I think, what, eight or nine presidents. Were you shocked by what you uncovered in this book? Well, I've never seen an instance when the president is so detached from the reality of what's going on. In one NSC meeting, a year after Trump was in office, the Secretary of Defense has to tell him, because the President's complaining about all this money we're spending on U.S. forces abroad, James Mattis uh, says to him, we're doing this to prevent World War III. Now, the idea that a Secretary of Defense has to tell the President that all of these actions are designed to prevent the ultimate catastrophe. And then Mattis goes on and says, you know, if we don't keep these programs, which are very sensitive, uh, the only deterrent option we have will be the nuclear option. Uh, let's talk about your process a little bit, because we live in an era where the president talks about fake news. He's called this fraudulent. You know, anything that is unflattering to him, he generally calls fake news. It is mostly anonymous sources in here. Why should people trust you? Uh, because, but the incidents are not anonymous. Uh, you, it gives a date, it gives a time, who participates. Most often the president himself and what he says. Let me ask you, let me drill down because there's a couple of things that are, I mean, they leap off the page. You have John Kelly, the White House Chief of Staff, um, calling the president an idiot, saying we're in crazy town. That's a quote. Yes. John Kelly now says, that never happened, I didn't say it. Jim Mattis, another person, quoted as saying the president's understanding is like a fifth or sixth grader. He comes out subsequently and says, I didn't say it. Are they lying? Uh, they are not telling the truth. That's uh, lying. That, and, 